spots where you see the salmon jumping waterfalls, you would think, geez, they can get over some small concrete. This thousand feet, there are no places to rest, so the fish don't have a chance to make it up here. The concrete was put in the 70s and 80s. There's cracks downstream. Big panels of concrete are breaking up. We determined that just putting the concrete wouldn't be a good idea. We could put in these series of pools and riffles that would allow the fish to have those resting spots and move through this steep section of the river to have access upstream. The fish that come out of Lake Michigan, they need to move upstream. They need to find places where they can actually reproduce. That's not going to happen in a concrete line channel. It's not going to happen in this faster moving larger water down at the bottom of the stream. They've engineered this so that northern pike can pass through. Northern pike are sort of the weakest swimmer. So if a northern pike can pass through, everything else can pass through. Walleye, uh, salmonage, trout, sturgeon, things like that that everybody cares about. So this isn't a project that just benefits trout and salmon. It's a project that benefits everybody who likes to fish for anything that moves up out of Lake Michigan. The, the buzz for us is that, you know, especially our members that live in places like Wauwatosa and places like Menominee Falls, they're looking at this and they're saying, hey, I'm gonna be able to fish in that park, that publicly accessible area right in my own backyard, and I'm gonna be able to catch salmon and trout right there. Absolutely excited about it. This was the key. This is the linchpin. If the fish can get through here, that opens up all of those other access points. There's about 37 miles of streams that'll be accessed. About 20 miles of the Menominee River up to Menominee Falls will be accessible by salmon, trout, uh, walleyes, and smallmouth bass. It's absolutely exciting.